हेलो फ्रेंड्स हियर वी विल डिस्कस दी प्रॉब्लम और दी केस स्टडी बेस्ड ऑन दी सिंप्लेक्स मेथड ओके इन द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग नाउ सी व्हाट एंड हाउ वी शुड एनालाइज दीस प्रॉब्लम्स सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स डिस्कस वन प्रॉब्लम स्टडी दी फॉलोइंग गिवन डिटेल्स नाउ सी व्हाट गिवन इक्वेशन इज गिवन z 2x 3y another equation of a constants is given 2x x plus 2y is less than equal to 5 3x plus y less than equal to 4 and x y should be greater than 0 okay so these are the constraints and uh, z is equal to the value which is given is nothing but the objective equation okay this is the objective equation now see solution part we will see how we should solve such a problems okay using simplex method so friends how the question can be framed see they can ask you identify the key column they can ask you identify the key row or identify the key element okay so now how to solve see here the solution part first you have to understand the full method then you can go with the solution part now see what you have to do in the very first step you have to add the slack variables means what see this is the equation given this is the first equation that we call it as a z equation that is the your objective equation this is the equation of your object that means this is your objective this is your target for maximizing the profit and minimizing the cost now z is equal to 2x plus 3y this is your uh, given right as it is we have to add the slack variable slack variable generally we represent by s1 s2 s3 like that okay so these are the slack variables now first step you have to add the slack variable so how can you add you have to add in such a way that there should be no change in the equation so i can add 0 into s1 i can add 0 into s2 i can add 0 into s3 like that okay that means if 0 into s1 will be 0 0 into s2 will be 0 so there will be no change in the equation so that's why i have added here 0 into s1 plus 0 into s2 no problem now the next equation of the constraints is x plus 2y should be less than equal to 5 now see here x plus 2y should be less than equal to 5 so how can we add in a such a way that the value of x plus 2y should be less than equal to 5 so i can say x plus 2y plus i will add s1 is equal to 5 whether it is possible yes it is a possible because here is a signature here is the uh, the sign is less than equal to less than equal to means it should be less than 5 so i will add s1 and uh, i will add here equal to so uh, for example for instance i will tell you see x plus 2y is equal to i will say it should be less than equal to 5 okay now if x is equal to 1 and uh, y is equal to 1 so that what will happen 1 plus 2 it should be less than equal to 5 so it is satisfying now i will add here what s3 i will add s1 for example means what x plus 2y plus s1 i will add and i will write equal to 5 so whether it is possible so see x and y is 1 1 so here again 3 plus s1 is equal to 5 so what s1 should be taken s1 should be taken to so that both side will be equal what mean i have to say you just understand when you add the slack variable here it is very easy to understand simply 0 0 you have taken as an uh, coefficient to s1 and s2 now here the signature less than equal to 5 we are replacing with the equal to 5 and we are adding with s1 okay for uh, the second variable so, sorry for the second equation 3x plus y is uh, less than equal to 4 so here we are adding s2 equal to 4 so what i have to uh, say that in the very first step you have to add the slack variables okay in the objective equation you can take coefficient 0 0 uh, 0 0 now for a first constraint equation you add the s1 for a second you add the s2 there are two uh, constraint equation so we are taking s1 and s2 okay up to that i think there is no problem now second step you have to understand the solution part okay now see 
what they have stated here in the problem statement itself they have stated that take a, a cost variable take the cost variable zero take a cost variable zero means what uh, see if they have given additional information like uh, cost of the uh, x that is a uh, yeah, cost of x is 2000 cost of y is 5000 that times we have to take that cost separately okay but they have stated uh, that you have to take a cost variable zero so here i write here the cost variable both are zero now next are the basic variable now basic variable means x and y are the basic variable very simple so cost variable i have taken zero as it is a problem statement basic variable i have taken x and y now next is the solution well what do you mean by solution value see here constraints having uh, less than equal to 5 and less than equal to 4 these are called as the 5 and 4 are called as the solution value these are the solution value okay so that's why i have taken here solution value 5 and 4 okay now next is very simple x y and slack variable s1 and s2 okay up to that you have to see this part you have to ignore for meanwhile now see this is okay right up to this it is okay constant variable i have taken uh, the cost variable i have taken 0 0 basic variable are x and y solution value are 5 and 4 now two variable x and y i have taken slack variable s1 s2 you have to write in the same format in the top now what you have to do see very 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 easy now you have to just analyze the coefficients okay so what are the coefficient of this c for this equation for this equation first what is the coefficient of x is one i have written here coefficient of y is two i have written here coefficient of s1 is one i have written here coefficient of s2 there is no s2 so that's why i have taken is zero now second equation coefficient of x is a three i have taken here coefficient of y is 1 i have taken here coefficient of s1 is 0 there is no s1 so that's why it's 0 coefficient of s2 is obviously 1 right so we have to take 1 okay so when there is nothing coefficient means obviously it is multiplied by 1 that's why i have taken one coefficient now this is the row now this is the coefficient row right so we have taken the coefficient for two equations i have written down the coefficients okay now what i have to do what we have to do the next is at the top there is a z j z j is nothing but it is for the z equation it is for the z equation coefficients now what is x coefficient 2 what is y coefficient 3 what is s1 coefficient 0 s2 coefficient 0 so only this uh, coefficients i have written here okay so i think up to that there is no doubt to you now next thing is we have to identify the column that is called as a key column so how to identify now see here next step is cj is equal to cv into sp means what cost value into solution value it is equal to zero how see see cost value is zero so zero into one is a zero plus this zero into three will be zero so answer will be zero now for next this 0 into 2 will be 0 this 0 into 1 will be 0 so addition will be 0 next this 0 into 1 will be 0 this 0 into this 0 will be 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 next this 0 into this 0 will be 0 and 0 into 1 will be 0 so 0 0 will be 1 so we got this row we got this row 0 0 this is the value of what cj this is the value of cj how we have calculated just multiplied the cost variable the, uh, the cost variable we have multiplied with the respective coefficients and we got here 0 0 now after that we have to do a thing that is a cj minus zj the cj we have calculated now cj minus zj we have to calculate okay this is a zj value right and this is the cj value so this minus this is very simple 
this is uh, now see 0 minus 2 you will get a minus 2 this 0 minus 3 you will get a minus 3 0 minus 0 you will get 0 0 minus 0 you will get 0 here should be 0 there may be a typing mistake okay there will be 0 got it so we got here that cj minus zj this column we got okay minus 2 minus 3 0 0 okay so here i repeat here is typing mistake uh, writing mistake here should be 0 okay how we have calculated cj minus zj this cj minus this zj this cj minus this zj this minus this this minus this so you got this column okay now when you got this column what you have to do you have to identify the key column so in the cj minus zj what is the value which is having highest negative value or highest negative or we can say highest value simply right so what is the value minus 3 is the highest negative value so the column corresponding to that highest negative value is our key column the column corresponding to highest negative value is our key column so what are the elements of a key column 3 2 1 0 minus 3 so this is our key column okay now we have found out the key column next task is to find we have to find the key row the key row we have to find now to find a key row you have to do a simple uh, mathematical division what you have to do a solution value you have to divide with uh, it with the what you have to divide with the column value or a column which is the key column so we can say key column value okay to find the row you have to divide a solution value with the key column now see here what is a solution value for this row for this row what is solution value solution value is 5 so divided by key column so this is the key column so what is the value here i repeat here see here to find key row you have to calculate solution value divided by key column value so for this row what is the uh, solution value 5 is the solution value so i have taken 5 divide with the key column so for this this is the key column right so in that key column what is uh, corresponding value 2 so divide it by 2 so for that row uh, the value will be 2.5 now for this next row we have to calculate what is a solution value is 4 divided by what is the corresponding co key column value 1 so 4 by 1 is 4 now here we have taken highest negative element highest negative value for the consideration of a key column now here for uh, consideration of a key row we have to take the minimum value okay remember for a key column we are taking highest value for a key uh, for a row we are taking minimum value so 2.5 is a value and here it is a 4 so minimum is a 2.5 which we have to select okay that means which uh, the cor value corresponding to minimum the column sorry the row corresponding to minimum value will be our key row so this will be our key row and uh, we have already de uh, defined uh, this is our key column so the uh, value corresponding to key row and key column is center value 2 will be our key element so they will ask you which is the key element 2 okay so in this way you have to solve okay now i will tell you one thing which is important that in your examination in your cib exam 99 percent they will not ask you to solve this table they will provide you the table table will be provided and they will ask you based on the table they will ask you which uh, column which of the following are the value representing the key column so you should able to identify the key column and uh, you have to select the correct option they will ask you next question which of the following values represent the key row so you have to identify the key rows okay value corresponding to key rows next they will ask you which of the following is a key element you should able to identify okay so now we will discuss the same how the question can be asked in your examination now see here this will give you a better idea about the exam pattern now see here 
what is given okay this table this type of table they will they will provide you this type of table they will provide you and they will ask you uh, tell the which of the following elements represent the key column so tell me you should pause and you you analyze which uh, which is the key column first tell me which is the key column what i have told you the value which is having highest negative element that column we will take as a key column okay so you can see here uh, ej minus cj they have written no problem denomination or the no, no, no the notation may vary okay but highest value negative is five so this is our this column is our called as the key column this column will be key column next value what we have calculated uh, the uh, solution value divided by key column value next they will ask you which of the following is the key row elements so which is the key row so this is the key column so we have to identify key row now see this is the value of a 10 this is the value of a 8 so for identifying the key row we will have to take minimum value okay this is the solution value divided by the key variable now this is the solution value 10 is the solution value 10 by 1 is a 10 here is 8 yet by 1 is 8 so minimum is 8 so this represent your key row this is your key row this is your key column now third question they will ask you which is the key element so one is the key element which is correspond to key row and a key column okay so in this way question will be there in your examination 99% the question will be based on same uh, format will be given to you Uh, might be this table they will not provide you and this table will not they will provide you okay they will provide you all the data respectively and they will ask you which represent the key column which represent the key row and which is the key element okay so we'll do more problems meanwhile you can study